It is a bright morning, and today it's early enough for me to be in the garden. Um, I always come to the garden after I've taken even my tea, but today I decided to come so early. We have some challenges here which we are going through. It's the army worm which is disturbing this maze. However, when I checked my garden, the affected parts are not so many. Like this one is fine, and the other one is also affected. This one here is fine. So I said now, if this corn is not very much disturbed, I can find simple remedies of solving this problem. And these simple remedies, which I always come with, they are the reasons why I'm here, to show you how you're going to treat your corn from this armyworm, which it's may corn like this, which it's maize corn like this. So we are going to treat this army worm out of this maize. That is what we are going to do. Welcome to my channel, Christine, the principal farmer, the real life coach, because I told you without food, there is no life. And that's how I qualified to become the real life coach. And I'm also a path to your smiling destination because a hungry person is always an angry one, cannot smile, cannot think of what to do next. So I'm here to see that everybody, whether a small farmer or a big farmer, can have food on the table. So for today's video, I've told you we have the infection of this army worm. And we are going to treat this army worm in the cheapest way possible. Why are we treating it the cheapest way possible? Because when I checked, I said I don't have too much of uh, corn which I've planted. This is the garden I have for corn. So I was like now, since the percentage of affected corn, it's not that big. I can handle this in the cheapest way, in the easiest way. I'm always here to give you the cheapest, the easiest, the quickest and simple, best methods of farming to see that everybody can have food on the table. So for today's video, what do we have? I told you we have this infection. This infection, it comes with the, some worm. Butterflies come, they lay their eggs and this Caterpillars, they always eat in the morning hours. That's why I'm here in the morning hours to treat this. They always eat in the morning hours and in the evenings. So whenever you come to see these worms, these um, caterpillars eating this corn during the day, when the sunshine is at midday, at two, in the hot, hot sunshine, you will not be able to get these caterpillars eat, eating your corn. So I'm here to show you what we are going to do. I made for you a video why I don't pour ash. So I'm going to use ash and we treat these things. That is method number one. However, method number two is the cheapest because you're going to look for the caterpillar yourself. We can do like this. Let me show you from this one what you can do. I'm sure we shall get a caterpillar inside here. So what you're going to do, tear these leaves into smaller, smaller pieces like this. Tear again. Make sure you don't remove this middle part because they eat from there in the middle part. You tear these leaves into smaller, smaller portions. That's why I had to bring this wire with me. But you can use a stick. So we shall do the pricking, the pricking. We thank God the caterpillar is already eating. And I want to remove it such that you will really see it is eating, how it is eating. I pray that I get it. I pray that I get it. Wow, we thank God. So this is the caterpillar which keeps eating our corn and spoils it. So when you remove it like this, you just have to kill it and it's gone. However, when the rain is much, when you get enough rains, these caterpillars, they can get out of your corn. And at the end of the day, you'll be able to harvest big, good corn like this one. Because every farmer, you need to harvest something good. This is corn for last season, but I still have it. And it's still looking very fresh and good to make for us food. So if you want to get good corn, you make sure you have removed the thing. So you can either come manually, you do the pricking of these leaves, until when you get this caterpillar out, then you can kill it. I'll just put it down here. It doesn't want to go off. That's how it gets stuck on our food. Then I can kill it. 
I can bury it and just kill it. That one is gone. And this cone here, it's going to grow very well because nothing is going to disturb it again, as you can see. It will grow very well after giving it that treatment. You just remove that caterpillar manually and it's gone. But this has to be done in the morning hours or in the evening. When the sun is hot, like for us who are farming in the semi-arid areas, by around 10 up to around 4 p.m., the sunshine is too hot and you will not be able to get these caterpillars here. They will go deep down in your cone up to around here. So you will not be able to see them. But in the morning, morning hours when dew is still on the crops, like how you're seeing, this is their time for eating. That's how I managed to get it very fast. It is their time of eating in the morning hours and in the evening. So you can just manually remove it, put it somewhere and you kill it, just as I've shown you. Then method number two. We can use ash. I made for you a video why I don't pour any ash at home here. You can use ash. I have my sieve here for ash. Then you sieve your ash like this. Sieve it like this. Then what are we going to do? After you have sieved it, you'll just get a pinch of this ash. This is too much, but it can serve some two, three crops. Get a pinch like this of your ash and you pour it in the maize. In the middle part, like if it is this one which is affected, you come and pour it like this. In the middle part. And you pack it properly. Make sure it is full inside there. As you can see this side. Let me show you from here. Just do it like this. The same that I can do to this plant here. It is also eaten and it is infected as you can see. So if I don't have time, what I can do... I just get a pinch of this ash and put it inside here in the middle part of my cone. This is what I do. The same can be applied to this one. If I cannot go manually removing the caterpillars which you have seen, you just go pour ash like this. Pour ash like this. Then when the rain comes, when the rain comes, it will all just power inside here and the bitterness of this ash the calcium in this ash it will burn up this caterpillar and it will completely die that's why i'm always here to bring you the cheapest the easiest the quickest farming method subscribe to my channel if you haven't because wherever we are here we always bring you the cheapest means of farming like this is not too big of a garden it is a small garden so you don't need to go look for pesticides to make your plants survive so if you don't need the pesticides and we are here to give you the cheapest the easiest best methods of farming because pesticides also they have their side effects but something like this i don't think there are side effects which your plants are going to suffer with which you the human you're going to suffer with Thank you for farming with Christine. Subscribe to my channel if you're meeting me for the first time. I'm always here to give you cheapest means of farming. I don't have too big of a garden of corn, so I decided to just show you what I can do to a small garden and treat this armyworm out of the garden. Thank you, Aunt May. The good Lord bless you all. Keep farming.